Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Parker. I am your librarian this year for fourth and fifth grade. I'm talking to all my fourth and fifth graders, and I'm also talking to my fourth and fifth graders at Claymont. So Claymont's going to be sitting in with Maple Lane this year. I have two classes at Claymont. I have fourth and I have a fifth. So hi, fourth and fifth at Claymont, and I have fourth and fifth also at Maple Lane. So hi to all of you, too. All right, so this week is our second week of virtual library. And I am in Miss Maloney's class, and she has been nice enough to say I could use her classroom to show this week's assignment. So let's go to Virtual Library Lesson Week 2. Click on. All right, and here is going to be something just a little bit different this week. I'm going to see how well we do on this, and we're going to go from there. Since you're in fourth and fifth grade, I'm going to give you lots of choices you can do. So you don't have to stick with just one assignment. You can choose this for this week or in, in next week. So, nah, you know what? I want something different. So there's going to be lots and lots of choices for you. So if you go to virtual library assignment, this week I'm going to give you two choices. You can do type to learn or you can do an hour of code. Now, when I say an hour code, I don't mean stay on it for an hour. That's up to you. That's up to you and your grown-up. If you can stay on an hour, that's great. If you can and you get a certificate, take a picture of the certificate and send it to me through the Schoolology course. But if you only have 25 minutes to spend, that's great, too. See, it says, after you've accomplished your task for at least 25 minutes, please answer discussion question provided for you. So the discussion part, the discussion question is the most important part because it lets me know that you've done this assignment and what did you do, especially if you have a choice. Since you've got a choice this week, you got to tell me all about why you chose and all that good stuff. Not a long paragraph, just a couple of sentences. Let me know what's going on. All right. Now, the type to learn, most of you, I would say 99% of you did type to learn last year. And this is why I'm starting you off this year. Third grade, I'm not letting them start yet. They are not allowed to touch top to learn yet because I haven't been in person with them yet to teach them anything. But you got a lot of it from at Claymont. You got it from um, your librarian there. And if you've had me at, no, you wouldn't have had me at Claymont. You might have, I don't know. Okay, but I only teach two classes there. But if you were at Maple Lane, you definitely had me for type to learn last year. So, but here's the deal. If you choose type to learn, I have to talk to you. When you go into type to learn, I want you to go in through your class links. Class links is what you log into on your Google, your Chromebook. As soon as you log into your Chromebook, the screen comes up and it's got all your different courses on there. That's where type to learn is going to be at. So what I want you to do, all you have to do is click on type to learn. And when you click on type to learn, it should take you directly to the screen right here where you'll see your name up here in the corner. See the top right corner it says Tammy Parker. You'll see your name there and you're going to see this screen. Some of this stuff right here, you won't see. This is my stuff. But don't worry about that. But this is what you're going to see right here. So as soon as you see this, that means everything went through A-OK. -okay. And that's when you click on Launch Type to Learn. And here it goes. Oh, no, my session is timed out. I can't show you my password right now because a lot of you be going in. Oh, there's it. But this should not ask you for a password because we had some issues with it last week. And we talked to the company, and they guaranteed us if you go through class links, you know, that screen I was just talking about, if you click on type to learn, it takes you directly to this screen right here and it will launch type to learn for you. If you have a problem and this doesn't work for you for some reason, it doesn't go through like I said it was going to go through, then when you do a discussion board, I want you to tell me it did not work. Okay, so we're going to come back to that. Just pretend, oh, it did not work. I went to that thing, and I don't know what it asked for. It just did not work for me. If that happens, go back to your virtual library assignment, click on Hour of Code, and do this instead. And right here is a bunch of some cool things that you can choose. This is, like right here is, hold on. One of our favorites last year was this one. And 
Dance Party, of course. Everybody loves Dance Party. Minecraft's where you invent your own game, Minecraft game. And Basketball Game, where you code a basketball game. I'm trying to think of some of the great ones last year. It seems like this one's different. Animate Your Name. See how it's animated. And, oh, look at all those different ones. Code, an unusual discovery. If you're a Frozen fan, if you love music, you can create your own songs. Code the news. It's just awesome. All right, so these are all your choices. Just pretend that you chose hmm, Program and Hero. So you did the Program and Hero for so 25 minutes, at least 25 minutes. Then I want you to go back over here, Virtual Library Lesson Week 2, Discussion Question. And this is where you type in your discussion question. All right, so which assignment did you do? Did you do type to learn? Remember, you had problems logging in. So say, I chose type to learn, but I had problems logging in. So I did our code, and I did programming hero. So you write all that, and that's it. And then I'll write you back. Simple as that. Okay? All right. So if you go to do type to learn, and you can't get in properly, I mean, it's giving you a hard time. Don't worry about it. Don't stress over it. Do our code for 25 minutes. But please tell me on the discussion board that you had issues. I need to know if you had issues getting in Type to Learn because we worked on it all this weekend. And the people at Type to Learn promised me there was no more issues. So that's what I'm trying to make sure there's no more issues. All right. So I hope that's it. Doing great. Can't wait to see what you wrote me and can't wait to see what you did on our code or type to learn. All right, same bet channel, same bet time next week. Bye, boys and girls.